Page 21, Lil Eliza Jane. At the top of the page, they're introducing the new dynamic mark, dynamic symbol, whatever you want to call it, an MP. Italian mezzo piano. Medium soft is medium, medium soft and medium loud are next to each other in the scale, dynamic range, so it's a, sort of soft. I can't help you more than that. You'll have to decide what these things are. I've just, it's different for different people in different situations and different. No, nah. And that's what we have here. And at the beginning, you see the MP. Now that's to the right hand because that's the melody. You hear. And then the third measure over, that's loud. I'd say it's to the melody, but both hands have the melody. And then the second line, you start, you come back down and sort of soft, the right hand. And then both hands are going to be loud because it, both hands are melody. So you've got sort of soft, loud, sort of soft, loud. Oh boy. The notes are not difficult. You're here and you're just playing those notes. I hope you can get those. The rhythms are hard as half notes and quarter notes. Mm -hmm. Left hand, you're starting here, and these are the notes basically you're playing. I don't see a lot of problem with the notes here. If you're really struggling with these notes, and you should know the note names and where they are on the keyboard, please go back and start the book again and go through it again. You're going too fast. Dynamic, we talked about that and all that other. See the phrasing? Well, uh, between the second and third measures, you're, you're here. Lift up before you go on. We want a little silence between it because of the phrasing. At the end of the line, you get the silence automatically because of the quarter rest. Mm -hmm. And second line is the same thing. At, at the end of the second line, uh, measure, lift up. So, then we have the articulation. The, the only articulation besides the phrasing, well, I talked about phrasing already, I jumped the gun, didn't I? Is the staccato at the beginning of each line. In the right hand, I just do a light finger staccato. It's just a bump uh, in rhythm. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And both lines are the same way. The left hand just has a chord, you're holding it down. Like so, and that's. Then, the, the third measure, the first line, it's all slurred. But in the second line, there's a staccato on the first note of each hand. You can just, this or a wrist, because it's loud, you may need to do the wrist. Because it's hard to do a loud staccato with fingers. Fingers are more light type stuff. The, the wrist, you get the bigger muscles involved when it gets louder. There's a repeat sign at the end. We're going to play this twice. Let's play this slowly together. And of course there's no pedal because that would cover up the staccato. So that's out of character for this piece. So I'll give us four counts. Go ahead and put your hands where they go. You can figure that out by now, I hope. I'm not doing the dynamics. You do the dynamics on your own. One, two, ready, go. Four, two, three, four, one, two, three, rest. take a little faster. I'll give us four counts. You play what you just played, but I need you to go up on the piano an octave. So instead of here, 
Just pretend middle C goes up an octave here. So instead of here, you're here. So the sound better because the duet part is using these notes. And that doesn't work very well on a duet. There goes four counts. One, two, ready, go.